Whoa, before we get to there, find out if you can get military police exports. That is the request from a Kansas City resident after a number of burglaries in the Brookside area this week. Specifically, he wants the Missouri National Guard deployed to help stop the crime. A declaration like that would need approval from a number of different entities. And new at 6, Fox Force Jonathan Ketz joins us live now from Kansas City's Brookside neighborhood. You've been talking with that man earlier today, John? Yeah, that's correct, Lauren, and he's actually a former juvenile prosecutor in the state of Illinois. But when it comes to this story, this all happens after there were three armed robberies in this area and the South Plaza area yesterday. Fred Gambino says sirens like this have been more common over the last two years. We're finding that the police officers are telling us they're short staffed. Thursday morning, Gambino put out a message in a Brookside neighborhood Facebook group to the Board of Police Commissioners saying if the police department's down so many officers, why shouldn't the Missouri National Guard be called in? Gambino wants the BOPC to talk to them about how they could possibly give KCPD the staff they need on a temporary basis. To answer the calls, to work in the stations so more police officers won't have so much overtime where they're fatigued and will be able to put more police cars out in the community. A request like this would likely first need the approval of the BOPC before Governor Mike Parson could do this. We weren't able to talk to any of the five members in time for our deadline Thursday. Besides this idea though, Casey police says armed criminals went on a robbery spree in the Brookside area Wednesday night. Teams of officers went searching. It was their helicopter pilot and spotter who found the criminals tracking them across town, they said. Thanks to them, they led officers on the ground and another law enforcement agency to the suspects. Casey police added today four suspects are in custody. Two of them are juveniles. When it comes to the staffing issue, Lauren, for KCPD, they added they're still down about 300 officers at this time.